Okay, uh, this is just going to be uh, hopefully a quick intro to help you get started using the microscopes uh, on Thursday. Um, I'm only going to be doing the videos for the compound microscope like this one uh, because the dissectings are fairly easy to learn and we'll probably just give you some quick instructions in lab. Um, let's see. One of the things that I want to try to accomplish with this video is just uh, showing you the different ways by which you can adjust uh, the microscope uh, for yourself. Uh, and I usually like to start uh, from the top and then kind of like walk my way down to the bottom of the scope. It is called, we call these compound scopes, and they're called compounds because they have two set of lenses, the eyepieces, which are on the top, and we have two of them. And then uh, a, a series of objectives with uh, different magnific magnifications. Uh, we have four total on this one. Um, starting from the top, so we have the two eyepieces. Uh, the left eyepiece has uh, what is called a diopter, uh, which you can use to adjust uh, to your to your left eye. So uh, usually uh, our eyes are a little bit different, and so this allows you uh, to correct for the differences between your left and your right eye. And the way you use it, uh, there is a dial uh, on the eyepiece that you can turn clockwise or counterclockwise uh, till you till you get the image uh, when you're looking through the eyepiece till the image looks clear to you. Uh, the other uh, adjustment, which is key, uh, is the is what we call the ocular distance. So you can actually adjust the distance between the eyepieces so you can have them farther apart or closer to each other and what you want to do is that you want to adjust the ocular distance so that it matches the distance between your eyes uh, you normally do this once you're looking through the eyepieces uh, and normally what you'll find out is that if this is not set right uh, most likely, you'll just be looking through one of the eyepieces, or if it's really poorly, if it's really far off adjustment, it's likely that you may actually see two uh, field of views as supposed to just one field of view. So when you look through the eyepieces, uh, you should see a circle of light, and uh, if you if you see two overlapping circle of lights. Uh, that's usually an indication that this is really far off adjustment. Uh, typically, one of the most difficult things to get right when you're just learning to use microscopes. Um, the so all of the lenses uh, have. Let's see, they should have. Well, this one's then interesting. So usually most of the lenses will uh, tell you, oh yes, they do, let me see, what is this? Yes, okay. So yes, so all of the lenses are marked with their magnification. So in this case, we can see uh, that the eyepieces themselves uh, have a magnification or do a magnification of 10x. Uh, that's true, let's see, for the both of them. And then, and then the objectives themselves, they're also labeled. Um, let's see, so, so here is, this is our smallest objective. And the four with the red band indicates that that is a magnification of 4x. And then if we go to the yellow one, which is bigger, let's see, can you see that? That's a magnification of 10x. And then the next one is blue right here, and that is a magnification of 40x. 
And then the last one is the biggest one, which is a magnification of 100x um, right there. So I'm, I'm doing this because it's good practice for you uh, to learn how to find these labels so that you know what the magnification of the objectives and the eyepieces are um, when you are working with a microscope that's new to you. Uh, the total magnification, you're going to figure that out by multiplying the magnification of the eyepieces times the magnification of your objective. So for example, right now, I have selected the objective uh, that is 4x with the red band. And so the total magnification is going to be 4 times 10, which is the magnification of the eyepiece. So that will be a total magnification of 40x. If I uh, choose the objective uh, with the 10x magnification, the total magnification will be 100x. And then for the 40, total magnification will be 400. And then with the 100, total magnification will be uh, 1,000.